I ended up getting a scholarship um, through the Aurora Foundation for to attend at Aurora University, and uh, I, I I don't really know if I was going to go to college. I had a job. What pushed me to college? Number one was a job I had in, in the summertime before my after my senior year in high school was at a factory, and after working in a factory for three weeks, three months, I said I'm going to college. I'm going to take that scholarship. And back then there was uh, there was federal aid available. Um, for uh, people who didn't have the resources to go to college. And my, I followed my sister here. My sister actually graduated from, from here, so I just followed her footsteps. It was local. Um, I like the small small school size, the class sizes. Um, don't know if I would have excelled as I did here at a large university. I might have even eaten up alive. I knew I wanted to graduate and uh, get a degree in criminal justice at the time. That was my career goal coming to Aurora College at the time even though it was small you still had that other experience meeting people that were coming to school here from other states actually other countries so that was kind of neat um, just to be able to experience that so even growing up in a town like this and going to a bigger high school you still feel somewhat you know you're kind of in your little uh, bubble let's say but you come here and you're exposed to different things and I think the small class sizes when you were meeting around a conference table um, with a professor or an instructor and you were discussing a topic you learned how to participate and you learned how to really think about things and be able to discuss it and explore things from all sides this, this faculty member wasn't even in my major um, was Dr. Andrana. Uh, he taught uh, pre-med or anatomy at the time. I know in the course I was taking, it was a science uh, elective I had to take. Uh, begrudgingly, I took anatomy. And when I got in the class, the first day I got in the class, uh, the book was a huge book. And I didn't have time to, to you know, memorize all the uh, body parts, etc. So I ended up taking it pass-fail. And uh, at the end of the class, I ended up getting a 90, I believe on a 96 in the class. And I was so upset with myself because I took a pass fail and I could have enhanced my GPA. But the reason I, I uh, so much enjoyed Dr. Andrana is he got study groups together. We met at his house and, and he made it so much fun to learn, you know, a, a mundane task of anatomy. And uh, from there I learned how to study. He taught me how to study. and, and that propelled me in the rest of my classes and, and, and my success at AU. Certainly um, helped me in my career. Um, I had the opportunity to do an internship as part of my um, degree requirements and that led to a job. And you know that was everything again back in the 80s. The economy was a little similar to what, what it was, um, what it is now. And so that was really helpful in in obtaining a job um, and uh, since then our son has attended Aurora University and um, did very well at also and um, so I, I had a sister who attended here so it's been a part of our lives and part of the community. Well it's growing and growing uh, relative to when we were here or compared to when we were here it's uh, it's a huge huge spot on the map right now before it was a, it was a tiny plot of land with four buildings on it. Um, and like I said previously, it's a huge solidifying entity in the, in the, in the community. Um, I, I love what they've done to the, uh, to the grounds and, and the programs they've, they've uh, added on and enhanced. Um, it's, it, it has a good reputation in the workplace and I hope it continues to um, graduate students that can, that can build on what they learn here a better society. Well, I think Aurora University has such a huge pres presence in this town, and anything that um, people can do to put Aurora on the map and, and have it be known for uh, its quality experience. And so when I think about Aurora University in the next 10 years, um, you know, I do hope it continues to grow the presence in Aurora is something that, as a lifelong resident here, I think we can feel real proud of that it's in our community.